Welcome to Enterprise Evolver. In this brief tutorial, you will learn capability modeling and capability-based planning, using capability-based planning to determine specific changes needed to implement an organizational strategy, and techniques for planning investments in capabilities to deliver specific business outcomes by performing capability assessments, understanding gaps, and visualizing results. And you'll learn how to use Enterprise Evolver to deliver these. But first, some definitions. So what is a capability? In simple terms, a capability is an organizational level ability, people, process, tools, skills, etc., that a business may possess to achieve a specific outcome or purpose or product or service. A capability defines what the business does or can do, not how it does that. Capabilities are fundamental components that make up a business. What is a capability increment or version? A capability increment or version of a capability represents a change in the business, which is also a change in the performance maturity of the capability. In Evolver, we create capability increments to capture how we will improve a specific capability. That is, process improvement, technology improvement, skills, or combination of multiple dimensions in one capability. A capability increment is realized by a state in the enterprise architecture. Now about capability-based planning. It is a planning technique that focuses on planning, assessment, capability improvement, and delivery of capabilities. Capability assessments and heat maps show the strengths and weaknesses of business capabilities. These output form the input to the planning and prioritization of investments. The picture below represents all the steps that we will perform to support capability-based planning. Higher level capabilities are decomposed to lower level capabilities to clearly articulate what a business does and what potentials business has to do. Make sure the model captures the business interests. Take an iterative approach to create the capability model, taking one line of business at a time. You can also use an initiative or multiple initiatives to define your capability model. Sometimes the organizational structure can be used to describe the capability model. A complete business capability map represents a business capability portfolio that you can manage. Select the business capability category and right click. You will see a context menu. Click on Capability Management and then click on Maintain Capability Model. Click on the plus sign to start creating the capability model. Provide a unique name and a brief description of the capability. The folder type field is used to identify the level of the capability. Select Folder for higher level capabilities and Item for leaf level capability. After you have selected a leaf level capability, you can't further decompose the selected capability group. A capability model like this will appear after you are done with the modeling exercise. Evolver automatically adds a unique identifier to each capability. After you have created your capability model, you can use the model to analyze or assess your capabilities. Capability assessment is done to understand where the business is today, where the business wants to go in the future, and what are the strengths and weaknesses in the capabilities. Assessing capabilities acts as an input to the planning and prioritization of investments. Capabilities are assessed using multiple dimensions, such as people, process, technology, strategic drivers, cost, and importance. Select Assess Capability option from the context menu and create a new assessment by clicking on Add New button. Before you can start the assessment process, make sure you configure assessment dimensions. 
Evolver provides built-in dimensions that you can use to configure and customize. Every dimension has a weight associated with it. Higher weights are assigned to those dimensions which are important for your organization. Depending upon your needs, you can change the dimension's weight. After dimensions are properly configured, the next step is to score each capability. A scale of 1 to 5 is provided, where 1 is low and 5 high. You can choose various approaches for the assessment from a workshop to survey. The output of the assessment is a heat map and a bubble chart. Evolver generates a color-coded heat map to depict focus areas. The heat map identifies which capabilities need attention. Another output of the assessment is the bubble chart. In this example, the larger bubble size denotes the complexity of the capability and could require more investment. Smaller bubbles indicate capabilities that are less complex and require less investment. The position of a bubble reflects the maturity and importance of a capability. Improving a relatively less complex but important capability could be a quick win and may be allocated first in the transformation roadmap. A less mature capability but with high complexity will require significant effort and investment. Use the bubble chart to uncover business opportunities and prioritize investments. Target and future assessments can also reveal the degree of change to each capability. Looking at the capabilities in target and present states helps quickly identify if the change or enhancement to a capability is minor, major, or transformative. Some capabilities may not exist in current states indicating that your organization will build new capabilities. After you have a good understanding of the capabilities that require attention and the gaps, the next step is to model changes and define the transformation initiative to implement the changes. Click on Model Business Change option from the context menu. Select the target assessment record that you created in the previous assessment step and select the capabilities that need to be improved. To model changes, we define capability increments to each capability that require improvement. Changes to a capability are delivered through a defined number of capability increments. Depending on the degree of change, major versus minor enhancement, you'd like to consider creating many increments. If a minor enhancement is needed for a capabilities dimension, for example, people, process, technology, etc., then one or two increments can be created to support the evolution of the capability. If the capability requires a major enhancement in many of its dimensions, then consider creating many increments. To transform a capability, you will need to create many increments with the purpose of delivering an outcome through each increment. Each increment delivers a quantifiable outcome and specific value. Always remember, a capability increment or version of a capability represents a change in the business, which is also a change in the performance or maturity of the capability. Capability increments represent the exact change in the business. Each increment should be implemented ideally by individual projects. After increments are defined for each capability, each dimension is scored to depict how the capability will evolve over time. Dimensions which are important are given a higher score in a given increment. An increment radar view is generated automatically that shows how a capability will evolve over time and how each increment will extend over the previous increments. The next step is to define an initiative and include all capabilities that will be delivered through the initiative. For each impacted capability, all increments are selected and a time period is added to generate the capability roadmap. In this screen, you can also capture the outcome that an increment will deliver, key business requirements that will be realized, and capability dependencies, people, and other resources that will be used to deliver the increment.
Evolver automatically generates a business case or initiative document in a Microsoft Word format for easy sharing with the stakeholders. Many different kinds of capability roadmaps are also generated to communicate the vision of transformation and to keep everyone on the same page. Finally, we develop the architecture to support the capability transformation initiatives. For each connection and link, a capability increment is added. The designer module is used to capture the architecture and through coherence dashboard and insight analyzer, the architecture and blueprints can be graphically visualized and analyzed. I hope you enjoyed learning about capability-based planning using Enterprise Evolver. If you have any questions, please contact us at feedback at enterpriseevolver.com or visit our website at www.enterpriseevolver.com.